In this video, we're going to focus how we can place these nice tick marks or basically the entire grid line here, including the tick marks at the very bottom or just below the bar chart. By default, it will always be on the side. And in this case, we're going to force it just below the bar. Let's start to explore how to do this. So let's start to look how to place the tick marks below the bars in Chart.js. So the first thing what we need is we need to go to chartjs3.com getting started. You can find this link as well in the description box. Once you're on the site here, we're going to copy this boiler template. So we're going to copy all of this, copy that. And if you want to understand this code, make sure you watch this video here that explains it all. So then I will just paste it all in here, scroll up here and then just at least increase the size here 80%. And once I did that, I'll just cut out this title, put it in here. And then save refresh there we are so now this works and what we want to do is we want to make sure the tick marks are below here luckily this is quite straightforward so we're going to scroll down here and i'm going to go here into the scales we're going to pinpoint the x scale because we're working with the x scale here and then basically what we want to do is we want to move this part which is the tick mark but it's part of the grid line so we're going to move it here so we're going to say your grid and then in here we're going to work with offset and we're going to set this on false. By default, this is always set on true, which creates this space here or basically the recalculation of the grid. So basically it assumes that this part here will have some space. So if we set this on false, then in that case, it will be like this. So it will be in the center and normally it will be here between. So that's basically what you need to do to have the tick marks nicely below your labels. So if you enjoyed this video and maybe you want to learn something more advanced, I'm going to recommend you my advanced series which is the histogram and this is a three part series exploring how to create a histogram with chart.js.